YouTube, this is Matt Matthew, and today um, I'm going to talk to you guys about Watch Dogs 2. It has been confirmed by Ubisoft Montreal's vice president that they are working on Watch Dogs 2. Um, this, this came out roughly two days ago, maybe, maybe three, depending on the time frame. But he actually said a lot of things about Watch Dogs. Um, not really a lot of things, but the things he said was enough to say, you know, he, you know, the staff at Ubisoft and the creators of, uh, uh, of Watch Dogs, the, um, the creative team, really have done a lot of thinking. Um, he does say that, he does say that Watch Dogs 1, the first Watch Dogs, did have a lot of problems. It wasn't the game that they thought of, you know, it wasn't what they were expecting and it wasn't what we were expecting as a fan, you know, as a fan, um, I'm speaking from, uh, from from myself and a few other friends, Watch Dogs, we had high expectations of the game and the game really let us down. I mean, the game really did let, let me down. I have the game and I barely play it for the fact that the game just wasn't what I was expecting and it really let me down. Um, you know, in terms of like technical problems, he doesn't go in, 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 into much details, but I will go into details about my problems I had with the game. So, um, but um, I'll get to that later. But the way he was talking, it was like they were like, ex oh, not expecting it, but they were like, they, it was on their minds. Because he, because he compared the first Watch Dogs to the first Assassin's Creed game because they had similar ratings, and um, the major game reviewers, I, IGN, GameSpot, you know stuff, you know, um, you know stuff like that. They gave Watch Dogs one and Assassin's Creed one pretty much the same review. They were like more or less e even, and uh, he was talking about the first Assassin's Creed game. And he was comparing it to Watch Dogs. How how both games they have great they they had great potential, and the company at that time didn't know how to take the game. They had a story they wanted to tell, but they didn't know how to how to tell it. And he said that they learned a lot from from Assassin's Creed One, and they and they took what they learned from Assassin's Creed One, and they you know took and they and they took an input from um, gamers feedback as well as critics feedback. And that's why Assassin's Creed 2 was a was ten times twenty a hundred times better. Assassin's Creed 2 was like the best game ever. It was like revolutionary. They really fixed the problems for Assassin's Creed 1. And every other Assassin's Creed game after that wasn't really that revolutionary. They added things here and there. They, they actually tweaked it here, here and there and they added plot holes and stuff like that. But it was Assassin's Creed 2 that really gave Ubisoft that that benchmark that they needed to basically make the the further Assassin's Creed games as good as they are now, um, and that's what that's what he was he was bringing in, in uh, to Watch Dogs. He says that Watch Dogs Two is gonna be ten times better. This is his words. This is not me talking. This is his words. The vice president of of actually Ubisoft's creative the division says this quote unquote that Watch Dogs Two will be ten times better than Watch Dogs One. Now that is a big, that's some big words right there considering the game, you know, is one of the worst games ever. So um, for him to say that Watch Dogs 2 is going to be 10 times better, uh, my expectations are set pretty high now for Watch Dogs 2. Um, he didn't put no release dates or nothing, he was just, he was just talking about, um, he didn't really say anything inside the article. You know, they kept it very brief. But, um... You know, he said Watch Dogs 2 will be 10 times better. So, my expectations are already set high. The bar of my expectation is like set up to here. Right here. Above my head. Right here. Because of his words. So, I really hope Watch Dogs 2 lives up to its hype. Because whenever they hype up a game extremely, the game doesn't live up. So, that's just my opinion. So, I'm really, the bar is set really high for Watch Dogs 2. Um, but moving on, just, the problems I had with Watch Dogs 1, the list goes on and on. Uh, first of all, um, the characters. The characters. Wow. Uh, let's start with the main character, the, the protagonist of Watch Dogs 1. He was just 
boring as hell. He was boring. There was no depth to him whatsoever. Even the plot had no depth to it. Everything was so simplistic and basic. The plot. The characters. Especially the protagonist. I mean, if the plot was that basic and that rudimentary and not that and doesn't have a lot of depth. I, I was expecting at least the protagonist to have some character depth. That something that I could relate to him. Something I, I could, you know, feel his pain. Or, or actually, or actually understand his motivations, and and actually, the, and the game missions mod, motivations. But it, there was nothing. He had nothing. He, he he was like a robot. He had no emotion. No, you know, no, no, you know, no character. So that's the first problem I have with Watch Dogs One. I really hope they fix it in Watch Dogs Two. Um, the second thing, the hacking. Oh, oh, the hacking. Where do I begin with the hacking of the game? The game is like the whole city, it is hackable. And even though you could hack a lot of things inside the game, it was it was obviously fun. That was that was, that was the fun part I have with the game. The hacking, some of it was too, as they say, repetitive um, when it turns to the hacking, especially with the missions. Um, the missions that, um, that involve you to hack, it was repetitive. Every mission, just the same thing over and over and over. The hacking of the system, same thing over and over and over. It got to the point that by like the second or third mission, you were an expert hacker. I mean, it was not... It, 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 it Hacking was no challenge. Hacking itself was not a challenge. There was no challenge. It was just super, super easy. And eventually, it got boring. In my opinion, eventually, it got boring. It, it, got, it got boring to hack. It, it, it was harder to do the mission, not hacking, that than it was hacking, which which it should which should be the opposite, because because if hacking is part of the game, then basically they they should have made the hacking part a lot harder to make the game more interesting. So that was another big problem I had. I hope they really fix it. I hope they really fix the hacking thing, uh, make it a little bit more in depth. Um, it's just the hacking was so bad. It was so simple, so rudimentary. Um, I think Ubisoft couldn't like figure out how to properly do the hacking, so I really hope they change it and uh, and actually watch dogs too. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say um, the protagonist from Watch Dogs One will not reappear in Watch Dogs Two. Uh, the vice president, uh, the, the 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 vice president already said Watch Dogs Two will have a brand new protagonist, so uh, let's hope they make them better. Moving on, the graphics. Ooh, I could say about the graphics all day long. Me and my friends, we were just went on and on about the graphics and how horrible. The graphics are like PS2 style graphics. I mean, we, uh, I mean, I think the Wii had better graphics than, than, than this game. It, uh, the graphics were just horrible. So bad. I mean, I know like in the PC version, they have mods to, to actually make the graphics better and more playable. But I'm talking about, I mean, yes, I understand life had a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The graphics were not going to be as good as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But the graphics were horrible on all consoles, all platforms. I mean, I'm I'm actually shocked when I see the, 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 the Wii U version of Action of Wild I'm really going to be shocked. <laughs> Because I really want to see the graphics of it to see what to see what they do with it. Because the graphics were so horrible. I mean, it looked like a bad PS2 game. It, it, it looked like 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 a uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, basically. It, it, it really did. The graphics were so horrible. So I that's one of the things I really hope they change about us too. Because I mean, come on, we're talking about PS4. Xbox One and PC. I mean, they. I mean, they could have bumped up the graphics a little bit. I mean, a little bit. Come on, like seriously. I, I understand the PS4 and Xbox One are still new, relatively new. They, they haven't been out for that long, almost, a, almost a year. But come on, like seriously. I mean. Seriously, 
Come on, Ubisoft. Give us our money's worth. Give us our money's worth. At least with the graphics. I mean, if Watch Dogs 2 at least has better graphics than actually Watch Dogs 1, I think I'll be like 5 or 10% happy about, um, about it. Because the graphics was really one of my main problems with the thing. Uh, another problem I hope they fix with Watch Dogs 2 are the missions. The uh, main storyline missions. That's the, that is what I'm talking about. Um, it was so it, it, it was just as repetitive as the hacking. Be because they go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. So, um, you know, it was just boring. It was the same thing. It was basically the same missions over and over and over and over. That's was pretty much it. So it was a very so I really hope to change with with on Watch Dogs too. Because it was just the game was very boring. The game as a whole, everything about the game was boring. Um, character the characters, boring. Characters designs, boring. Graphics, horrible. Plot storyline. Boring. So the game really has no replay value whatsoever. It was like the game. I still have the game. It's right there, sitting right there. It's it has dust right now. I haven't played the game. It is dusty right now. I think I'm I think I'm gonna dust it off. You, you, you know what? I'm probably gonna put it on my Xbox 360 right now and play it just just for like five minutes. Just, just so I can take the cobwebs out of it because I haven't played the game in so long. I haven't played the game in so long. But the game was that boring. So, Ubisoft says Watch Dogs 2 is going to be 10 times better than Watch Dogs 1. That still remains to be seen. Like I said, my expectations are set this high. Just the fact that he says it's going to be 10 times better. He says they're going to take in everything. So, let's see what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me that Watch Dogs was pretty much one of the worst games ever? Comment below, like, dislike, um, subscribe to my channel if uh, you want more gaming news, anime news, TV news, movies news, whatever. I do it all. Um, comment below, guys. Like, dislikes, and let's start praying that Watch Dogs 2, whenever it comes out, is true that it will be 10 times better than Watch Dogs 1. As always, guys, this is Matt. Matthew has have an awesome day.